Hey guys, Isos here, and today we're bringing you a Thresh teamfight scenario. We're going to break this down. So Thresh is over here, and he's trying to follow up on his Volibear going out on this Renekton right here. So Volibear flips Renekton, Renekton pops his ult, and then at the same time, Mummy goes on Annie. So let's just pause it right here, I think. So basically, <coughs> um, we're going to get out the drawing tools. Okay, so we've got Thresh is here, Volibear is here. Uh, Katarina's here. Jinx is over here somewhere. We'll just, we'll just do this. She's down there somewhere. Um, and then the fifth person is... I think Hecarim is over here. I think Hecarim's down here. And then we'll grab... Purple for these guys. That's not as easy to see. Yellow. Katarina's here. Mummy's here. Renekton's here. Uh, and then the other guys are coming in this way, I think. And Tristana's like over here. I think Tristana and... I don't know. Tristana and Janna are... Here, maybe. I don't know. Doesn't matter. They're off the screen. Anyway. So... Go with red. So, thre so this is the Thresh player's perspective we're looking at, right? So first he was following up on the volley bear over here, which is fine. But now the, the focus has shifted, obviously, to this area, right? So like this is where all the action is going to go down now. I'm going to get this like that. Cool. Okay, so this is where all the action is going to go down, right? So in terms of positioning, basically, um, initially they had kind of like a pincer action going on Renekton. But Annie got caught over here. And he said... And these two are just ripping her to pieces. Um, Katarina is kind of low, but so is Annie. So it's kind of a wash in that sense. But Renekton is moving up, right? So like Renekton is moving in to provide all of his awesome AoE damage over here, right? Along with Mumu and Katarina AoE damage. So this is like death zone over here, right? So like, what does the Thresh player need to do? So like the Thresh player needs to basically go this way, right? To get into this action and start crowd controlling and um, Annie's probably toast, but he can save Volibear, right? So the first thing he wants to do, like I ideally you want to try to like stop Katarina all, but that's not going to happen because Katarina is positioned behind Mumu right here. So like you can't sneak a death sentence, like you can't throw a death sentence this way, right? Because it'll hit Mummy. It won't actually hit Katarina. That's fine. But you could set up so you could... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you can pull Mummy this way, right? Because what's going to happen... By the time Thresh gets over here, Katarina's going to be either dead, right? And these two kill each other. Or she's going to be done alting, and then she's going to have Shunpo back up or Flash or something. So, like, you can't risk getting into position, like, all the way over here, and then throwing out a hook, and then she's not there or she's dead, right? So, like, you want to go for Mummy, basically? Or Renekton is fine. I would say Mummy because Jinx is over here. You can't see her, but she's taking her sweet-ass time on this side of the screen. And I would say Mummy, so that way, basically, if you pull Mummy, right, you can effectively, if, like, let's say these two are going to die, because they are going to die. Um, you can effectively take the zone of, like, death from this, and if you grab Mummy and tug him twice this way, like, you can cut the threat zone down to, like, this, right? So, like, all this area, right? And so this is a, more of a safe zone. And then you can lay down the box. Let's see if I can draw this. Oh, it's like a baseball diamond. One, two, three. It's five sides, right? One, two, three, four, whatever. It's like, that's not what the box looks like. But anyway, you get the point. So <clears throat> this is, you know, you can... Pull Mummy to like here, let's say, and then Threshold, and then Threshold will have Renekton and Mummy inside of it, right? And then Jinx can come in, and then Tristana's gonna be positioned like 
here at some point with Janna, I presume, or Janna's over here and she's gonna loop around. And then Jinx is gonna be positioned like here. And basically you're gonna try to occupy as much space as possible while you let your Jinx, your ADC, uh, try to put out a ton of damage. And since Katarina ult is down and you as the Thresh player are controlling these two fatties, that buys your Jinx player a lot of space to kind of hide behind this wall here and attack with her long range. Or she can scoot up and start attacking Mummy with her uh, Pow Pow and do a lot of damage. Also, by clumping these two together, you give her a chance to use her ultimate for the AoE damage, which is really good. Okay, so let's actually see what happens here. So you move up, you throw the hook, and you're, you're aiming it like... Yeah, you, you threw it way over here, and you're aiming at Katarina, I assume. Katarina died. Oh, you killed Katarina. Okay. <laughs> Well, she was, uh, I guess that's fine. I mean, I think she was dead anyway, but I, I'm i pretty sure, yeah, she was dead anyway, because um, even if Annie died here, Annie already got her combo off, so it didn't matter, and Jinx was just going to auto-attack Katarina one time. So, like, you had the right idea, like we discussed, trying to interrupt Katarina all, but I th it still would have been better using your hook on um, one of these guys and pulling him this way, right? So it was it was fine what you did, but like I said, Jinx would have just walked in, auto attacked her once, and killed her. So I would have pulled Mummy backwards. Um, <clears throat> okay, so you got that. So now we're moving up. So again, we want to. So Trisana's over here actually, but that's, the point is the same. So you want to try to crowd control these guys, right? Annie was dead anyway. That doesn't matter, right? So what you want to do is now you're here, right? What your goal is, since you have Flay up, right? You want to move up. And you want to flay. What have I been using? Yellow? No, pink. You want to move like, just step this way, and flay both of these guys back this way towards Tristana, away from your Jinx, right? So you want to buy Jinx as much space as possible. Okay. So this is really easy. All you do is step over here, like one Teemo. I think you can probably flay from right here, but anyway, you want to flay both of these nerds this way, and Hecarim's gonna come in. And then, uh, as we discussed, you can drop the box, which I can't draw because pen pentagons are hard. But drop the box here, or, you know, somewhere in this area. It doesn't really matter. And control these two guys and save your jinx. Let's speed this up. So you flay this way instead of this way. And because you flay this way, you get Renekton and you push him back towards Tristana, right? Which is great. But since you flayed this way, you didn't get Mummy, right? And the thing about Mummy, right? Let's see, it's kind of hard to see, but his trail of tears or uh, despair, right, is going to get on Jinx right now. And she's going to start bleeding out from his damage over time, right? Additionally, Mummy still has his ultimate, right? Yes. No, he doesn't have his ultimate. Okay, I don't know when he... I guess he used his ultimate on Annie. Yeah, he did. Okay, so anyway, but he's still going to like do a lot of damage with like Sunfire Cape and Despair and stuff, and that would have bought her a little bit of time if he did that. <laughs> so now... Okay, there's Mummy Ult, so he just used it. Okay, anyway. So now, um, if, if he, you had flayed him this way, he still would have ulted Jinx, right? But he would have been over here, and then Hecarim could have pushed him like this way instead of this way because now mummy can just you know run bait straight back at jinx but Hecker he could have been over here or over here somewhere right <laughs> excuse me so that's oh, right you don't have the box in this scenario i keep forgetting that anyway so at this juncture you have flay up you don't have death sentence right now so um you want to basically now try to position yourself in between Jinx and these two guys, since those are the two guys you see, and just buy Jinx as much time as possible, right? Since you don't have um, the box. And basically, uh, right now is, is like an okay time to Randuin's, right? Because you're here. So you would hit these two. You would hit Mummy and Renekton. Ideally, if you can Randuin's all three of them, like, that would be great. So maybe if Tristana moves up a little bit. Unfortunately, Tristana has super duper long range. So that's probably not going to happen. But let's see. So Tristana jumps in. You immediately exhaust her. That was amazing, right? So you immediately exhaust her, which is great. And then um, any CC you have, you want to use on her. 
So she actually alts you backwards, right? And then you're in mummies. I want to make this is important to point out. Tristana, you were here, right? Tristana alted you this way, and you ended up here, right? And you ended up in mummies like stuff, right? So his tears, and he also did his tantrum or whatever and hit you in the face. That was because, um, remember when you didn't flay him, right? He got pushed up here by Hecarim, and then he just walked back down. But if you had flayed him, he would have been over here. Hecarim could have pushed him this way, and then he would have been like, instead of here, he'd be like here. And then you probably wouldn't have died here, and then you could have retreated over to Jinx, right? Now, if we also look at your guy, you didn't use Randuins, right? So the exhaust was great on Tristana, but you also could have used Randuins here. So <clears throat> overall, you played that pretty well. But just the little things, like using your... Um, your, what do you call it, your death sentence on Mummy and pulling him this way a little bit, and then also using your Flay to pull Mummy this way a little bit, and then that would have let uh, Hecarim push him up. Those three things, like those little things, actually would have put Mummy like way farther away there. He would have been doing less damage to everyone, less damage to Jinx, less damage to you. You probably could have lived here. And then if you had lived, you could have crept over here and stood near Jinx, and then maybe if Tristana stepped up, you could have thrown out another death sentence and snagged her and then you could have cleaned everyone up. So those are just some little things you can do to improve your team fight and you know, make sure that it comes out in your favor.